the glow up. What exactly is the glow up? Well, I looked it up on Urban Dictionary for you guys and I found this definition. To go from the bottom to the top to the point of disbelief, an incredible transformation. Wow, she really did glow up. From ugly duckling to a gorgeous swan. <sighs> That's pretty harsh, but you gotta be careful who you carve, okay? And I wanted to look this up for you guys because I today made a video for you guys on how to glow up, but I wanted a better understanding of exactly what everybody else thinks it is. But it's not just your physical features, like this harsh one from 2010, or this one, ew, but it's from going from this to this. And you will be able to change your life like that. You ain't really fuck with me way back then, but how about now? Cause I'm up right now. All about how to glow up in year 2018. It is finally here. I cannot believe that it's already 2018. I definitely manifested a lot of goals last year that I met and some of them I didn't meet. It's a little bit disheartening, but I wanted to kind of teach you guys how to glow up this year so that you don't make the same mistakes I did and that you don't go through the trial and tribulations I went through. It's never too late to do that. You don't ever have to feel like your time is up. You always have time to build yourself and grow as a human being and that is the most important thing to learn in this video is to love yourself and to grow as a human being and you will feel like you really accomplished a lot before getting started into the video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below we're almost at 5,000 subscribers so please subscribe and get me to my goal of 5,000 subscribers really change your physical appearance for the better so I really think that right now what is really in is a less makeup and um, that could be really hard for a lot of people to understand and pretty much what I mean by less makeup is to really look like you're appearing to wear no makeup even though you are do your skin routine do your contour do your bronzer do your um, under eye highlight and everything but kind of tone down the eyeshadow a bit put on some false lashes and do a bomb highlight highlight is always in and I think that it really just kind of adds to any look It'll look like you're really not trying and that you just woke up looking glowy and awesome and it's definitely something that I had to learn because I love doing like a pop and eyeshadow and it's always okay to do a pop and eyeshadow here and there but for your everyday look really make your natural beauty enhanced a lot more so that people really genuinely think that you look that awesome all the time change your hairstyle every once in a while as you can see I'm giving you black china vibes maybe some rihanna vibes maybe some selena vibes we're just gonna combine them all together and that's what i did with this wig this was my kendra's boutique wig and i just cut bangs into it do you guys like or no <laughs> that changing your hairstyle really adds to glowing up as a person especially if some people haven't seen you in a while and then you change your hair on them and you'd be like bitch who is you okay it's like a whole nother person you can really change it up make yourself feel really hot really gorgeous and I honestly love changing my hairstyle I wear purple wigs I wear blonde wigs I wear short long every color of the rainbow I love to switch it up I just want my eight best hair companies that I love I will link the video somewhere up here so that you guys can watch them so you can get yourself some new hair this year for 2018 to eat a lot cleaner you know everybody always says to exercise in 2018 and I totally agree with that but I think what is even more important than exercise is to eat cleaner because what you eat is how you look I mean I know that's like a saying how everyone feels be careful and cautious with what you put in your body I went plant-based in June and I have lost 25 pounds thus far and I have incorporated zero workout i do not work out um it's really not my thing i'm going to incorporate workouts this year on the 2018 because i really think that it will help give me some definition in my body and help me lose those extra pounds that i want to but all this weight that i've shed actually was just from eating cleaner and i think it's super important because it's for your health for your appearance and just for you to feel good all together you will just feel glowing okay we're talking about glowing up here you will glow from within just super important to really invest in a good lotion, a moisturizer, to have good toners and anything that gets rid of dark spots or pimples or whatever. And also to use things on your lips so that your lips don't get chapped all the time. That's super important. I know that you guys have heard it a million times, but I'm here to just, you know, be your girlfriend and tell you what it is. So that's my tip. 
figure out what you don't like about yourself and tweak it. Everybody has certain things that they don't like about themselves, certain insecurities that they just don't like. And I feel like instead of dwelling on what you do not like about yourself, fix it, change it, and make it better. For me, I had a lot of an insecurity last year with my body, so I got cleaner and I got more in shape, and I feel 10 times better because I just cleaned up my diet and it really made the world of a difference. I feel more comfortable with wigs and with makeup, so I really take the time to make sure that my wig and my makeup always look really good, and that is super important. I just think that everybody just needs to feel beautiful, and if you don't feel beautiful in your most natural state to go out and do errands and stuff like that, you feel better when you tweak yourself. Um, obviously, it's always important to love yourself from within, but it's always nice to do a couple enhancements here and there to make yourself feel gorgeous and and you don't need to feel like a bum. We're glowing up this year. We're not trying to stay on stagnant, bummy level. So we're trying to get above it and just be glowing and radiant for this year. The next tip that I will give you, and I'm sure this is a tip that you guys have heard a million times, but is to set some goals for this year that you can meet and make sure that you set them and actually give yourself a deadline when you wanna meet them. If you set a goal and you don't give yourself a deadline and the deadline is literally until 2019, you will really procrastinate and not ever really get to those goals. It's important to not procrastinate, to get things done. So for instance, I want to lose another 25 pounds um, by June, so I'm going to make sure that I eat clean still and I do incorporate workouts into my regimen and hopefully I can get that weight off by June. And I really will manifest that and I will definitely make sure that, that happens another thing that I have manifested is to really grow my YouTube channel and by YouTube channel I mean both channels I have my main channel here that I've had for two years and my second channel I started with my boyfriend so if you guys want to go subscribe to that make sure that you um, subscribe I'll keep the link down below for you guys so that you can subscribe to our channel and I really want to grow on my platforms because this is something that I genuinely love doing I love talking in front of the camera I love filming that I was born to do. I was born to be in front of the camera. I really believe in the power of thinking something can happen. So if you think that you can get yourself a Lamborghini by 2025, then I really suggest you manifest that and it will happen if you put in the work. God will help you, but he will not lay the carpet out for you. You need to do all the things on your own and he will be beside you and helping you throughout the way. But no lazy person who does not put that manifestation in their life it just won't happen for you I mean there's always that one person who will be ahead of you and there'll be that one person that's behind you but you need to just worry about yourself your path and your journey get rid of negative people toxic people in your life people are friends or family or whatever the case may be you really need to figure out what relationships mean the most to you and what relationships mean nothing to you I really think this is super important because people always allow toxic energy in their life especially when they're people that are close to you lock out the hate and learn to just persevere and be the bigger and better person because negative energy will make you a negative person and I think that a lot of people in your life especially in your inner circle they never want to see you succeed they never want to see you prevail they always want to tear you down as a person I really genuinely think that if you realize that you will be so much better off and you will not allow that type of negativity in your life people like you until you're doing well and then they have a hatred for you so you really need to realize that not all people are bad but a lot of people are Another important tip that I wanna give you guys is to be original. Especially in this world full of social media, I feel like a lot of girls on my feed look identical to Kylie Jenner. And there is one, just one, Kylie Jenner. She's already famous, she's already a person, and I get sucked into it too. Sometimes when I see a person, you know, doing a certain thing, wearing a certain thing, acting a certain way, you kind of feel like you need to behave in that aspect too. That nobody wants to see Kylie Jenner dupes or people who act like people that are already existing. You are original and you are yourself. People respect that so much more, like you so much better, even if you are not the standard of this particular person.
Just to name a few baddies that really honestly stick in my head as original is India Love, Cardi B, SZA, and Solange. They are truly original ass bitches that I've never really seen copy anyone else. In your own personal style, stop getting your lips done to look like her, stop getting your hair to match her, your boobs, your everything. Like, she's already a person. Like, be yourself. If you don't like your lips, then get them fixed. If you don't like your boobs, get them fixed, but don't do them because somebody else did. It's good to take inspiration off of celebrities or people in the Instagram world, but to completely turn around your appearance and your life to look like someone else is just not cute. Be the Beyonce in the world full of Kylie Jenner's, okay? The most important thing that I wanted to mention in this video about bossing up or glowing up this year is to love yourself. It's super important to have that true connection with yourself. At the end of the day, all you really have is yourself. Start to get to know yourself better and love yourself a lot more. You will be so much happier. You will feel so much better when you go through things and you don't love yourself because it makes everything so much harder. And I started to have like a love myself journey um, through the process of becoming vegan and losing weight because I felt like um, it was the first time in my life where I was actually able to do something, stick to it, commit to it, and feel good about myself. Um, I've always been a, what you would call a quitter, which I hate being that person. I'm learning to not be that person anymore. But um, going vegan and having to stick to something that I was actually passionate about made me love myself a lot more because I started to find myself in what made me passionate about certain things. I didn't really know how I wanted to be portrayed or looked at because I was so confused with myself. This kind of ended abruptly, but Hope that you guys have a wonderful new year and that you really set some goals for yourself and try to meet them. Do not set unrealistic goals. Set like smaller goals that you can meet easier and then grow as you go. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video.